Get ready for truth and transparency from an ocean of liberal tears. Welcome to the Blue Shark Show with your host, Mike Lang. We've got a lot to unpack today from the March 22nd Commissioner's Court, where Ron Massengale, the county judge for Hood County, decides to run the whole court all by himself like he does normally. And you would think that him being in a runoff at this time, he would be like, acting as best way as possible but no we get the total opposite end of ron massengill today let's go through this commissioner's court agenda really quick if you notice right off the bat we have line item transfers and budget amendments and i don't know how many times that i heard ron massengill ron cotton talk about the state and unfunded mandates well they never say hey thanks to the state for giving all this money to the sheriff's department, to all law enforcement constables with the money coming in. And oh, by the way, the COVID money could have been used for indigent defense and indigent care, but did the commissioner's court decide on that? No, they just want to complain that the state didn't give them any money. Well, this was their opportunity to give hundreds and thousands of dollars to that budget line item They didn't do it. So I don't want to hear any complaints for this budget season on those line items. Moving to miscellaneous agenda item number five. We're looking at consider and take appropriate action to submit TCEQ for considerations. And it has to deal with the rules of Hood County for Texas on-site sewage facilities. The majority of the systems that are being installed in Hood County now are rogue. Some of them are the most complicated aerobic systems in hood that the state allows. I can't deny them because the state says they have the right to put them. Good morning, Court. I'm sure it's no surprise that I would want to speak on this. Most people in this room know where I stand on it. Um, I appreciate Ms. Sachs, and I, I understand that there can be problems in this, but I think a trained citizenry and learning how to deal with their, their systems makes our county better. So we've kicked this can down the road three years now. So let's vote on it. Yes, no, indifferent, up, down. It's not going to change my life. I'm going to keep doing my system. I'm never going to have another contract, period. And people that are going to my class are not going to have a contract. They're going to push back on this. But we don't know how you guys would vote on it. So I'm calling for a roll call vote this election year, a roll call vote, yes or no, up or down. Once again, let's end this. Thank you. We've seen Mr. Biggers come up and speak for, I don't know, a year and a half, maybe two years on this subject, and finally he wants a vote from the commissioner's court. Yeah, so this whole thing is about the aerobic septic systems, and if you live out in the county and you're not tied up to city sewer, that's what you have unless your house is pretty old. For the last uh, 20 or so years, the only permits that they've been granting are for these aerobic systems. The old systems that Mr. Biggers talked about are the ones that have the lateral lines. There's no maintenance required on those. You just fix them when something goes wrong. But about 20 years ago, a commissioner and a commissioner's brother had a aerobic septic system installation and inspection company. And that's when they came up with this deal. And Steve Biggers does call it extortion because that's what it is. You're required to get an inspection. And if you live out in the county, you know that a lot of times when these guys come out, maybe they go in their backyard, maybe they don't go in your backyard. Uh, maybe they show up, maybe they don't show up. They seldom call. It's pretty much make work for some people that used to be in power around here. Extra fees. Yeah. 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 Well, and he brings up a great point about educating the citizenry. It's, It's personal responsibility. What a novel notion. And how could that not benefit the county, you know, regardless of these inspections, if you as a homeowner understand how to work on your system, that's going to benefit everyone in the county. Nobody wants to have a failing aerobic system, I promise you. And to Mr. Bigger's point, these are not maintenance contracts. These are inspection contracts. And it doesn't take a genius to know if one of these uh, systems is malfunctioning. It'll smell like sewage or that little alarm will be going off. What Hood County has done in 1998 was they made it specific where you had to be a provider, basically a commercial provider to work on a septic system. 
when TCEQ says you don't have to have any training whatsoever. And Mr. Bigger's actually taking it one step further, and he's giving classes himself on these septic systems. So the judge, when we listen to him in a minute, he has no clue what he's talking about because Hood County already has something in place from the commissioner's court. I'm sure you've seen the marked out yellow page of what they want to strike out and what they want to add into this proposed order to send the TCEQ. Am I right? Well, I think you're copying Bosky's basically. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is the order that Bosky submitted in 2019. Okay. I believe. And I've looked at a couple of other ones around the state. I mean, there are other counties that are doing what you see or what you're proposing. Okay. But right now, even this one, the one that they do have, there is the state of Texas allows you to go ahead and do your a homeowner to do his own inspection of the septic system if they take the course right, the towing that course. the TCEQ says you must take. Right. The, I think it's the TOA course. We went through this like a year and a half ago. Yeah, we sure did. But it was the TOA course to be a licensed tech or whatever the terminology is. And then, yeah, under our regs now, you could do your own maintenance under that. Yeah. yeah. And that's what it said. And when you read the proposed language of doing our own regs, it says in section three down here, it says the homeowner property owner successfully completes a maintenance class specific to their type of system approved by Hood County. It seems like Judge Massengill might have his facts a little misconstrued here because TCEQ doesn't require anyone to take the classes. Hood County is the one who requires that right now. But he keeps throwing that back at Matt Mills, who he asked for an opinion and we'll watch here in a minute when Matt Mills's opinion doesn't match up with the judge's opinion. And of course, once you know somebody's up in front of the judge and they have a different opinion, the judge is going to go on attack. Yes. You're telling me that the neighbors and the people here would not sue Hood County because we're the ones that approved that certain subject system. I mean, again, anybody, as you know, could sue for anything. We have jail inmates sue for whatever, and it's flimsy and ridiculous. I mean, I, I don't know the connection. You know, if there was a contamination issue somewhere, and say, oh, well, that's because you let somebody approve their own septic, and it sources back to this particular septic that you let the person. I, I don't, to me, that would be kind of laughed out of court, I would think. But. Oh, really? Yeah. You, you think that? that I you would do. like to defend that, wouldn't you? I, that kind of lawsuit you'd like to defend? I've got some real attorneys that I know okay. of that would take that. Whereas right now. So we just watched Ron Massengill not getting his way, and he's starting to pout about it and get upset. Yeah, like a little baby, he's starting to pout up there. And he, at one point, mentions, well, you want to defend this, Mr. Mills? I've got a line of attorneys. Well, that is a fact. Judge Ron Massengill has been known throughout the course of his career to use the courts against his political adversaries or to recruit candidates against elected officials with whom he does not agree. Right. And not just a line of attorneys, but a line of real attorneys, implying that Matt Mills somehow is not a real attorney. He asked Matt Mills for Matt Mills' opinion all the time. Every single court, Matt Mills has to be there. And if he agrees with Matt Mills then Matt's the best attorney in the world. Right. If he doesn't agree with Matt, then he berates Matt. I've got some real attorneys that I know of. Okay. Just like this. Well, I can find a real attorney. Well, Judge, which is it? You know, he sits up there on the bench, and like I said earlier, he's going through a runoff right now. He's treated Mr. Biggers, and we'll see coming up, he's treated Matt Mills this way, and it's like going back in the past when he treated Todd Abair that certain way during COVID and wanted him to work in an emergency room and catch COVID. And, yeah. you know, he throws out these different scenarios. What if this? What if that? And he's like the scenario king. And what we really want from you, Judge Massengale, while you're still there, is to at least be about less government, less regulations, 
If TCEQ allows it from the state, then that's the way it should be. These brother-in-law deals from 1998 need to go away. If Hood County just defaults to the state's position, that is that these aerobic septic systems only require inspections for the first two years after they've been installed. That's it. There are no annual contracts required by the state. There's none of this. It's all a bunch of misinformation from Hood County's very own Joe Biden. Actually, uh, let, me, let me throw in there. The state allows the homeowner to do it without any training. The, the, the tower requirement is a Hood County requirement. That's not something put in by TCEQ. Right after Judge Massingale gets done trying to shred Matt Mills, Kevin gets up and says to the judge, that TOA is all from Hood County. It's not from TCEQ. The judge looks over at Kevin like, Uh uh-oh, I've been found out. And then he goes back to the same old line that the judge gives. So he's there to go after Matt Mills. He's there to go after Steve Biggers. And by hook or by crook, he's going to make sure that this thing gets done his way. And if his whole concern is about the liability falling on Hood County, then you would think he would be more open to less regulation by Hood County. And let's default back to just what the state statute says and have less government in Hood County. Yeah, Hood County is one of less than 20 counties throughout the state of Texas that has this requirement in place, and it needs to go. So in true fashion and form, like we've said before, We're going to listen to the judge take a shot at Mr. Biggers, because if you remember from our last video, Mr. Biggers went up and gave a copy of the Texas U.S. Constitution and the Republican Party platform, Planks and Platform. And the judge didn't like that. So what does he go do? Let's watch. Mr. Biggers, you got up here speaking. You handed me something and all the other commissioners, the last commissioner court meeting. I'd like to hand you something, sir. Would you hand this to Mr. Biggers? It's called an application to the public. So there you have it. The judge is weaponizing the environmental office to go after Mr. Biggers, and he got the application to the public on Mr. Biggers' septic. Now, Mr. Biggers has gone through his own class and classes to do his own inspection. But does the judge care? No. He weaponized environmental to go after a citizen in true Judge Massengale form. Yeah, and it's funny watching Judge Massengale go after Mr. Biggers saying, hey, will you sign this, you know, basically saying your word doesn't mean anything. Well, you know what Judge Massengale signed four years ago when he went to run for office? The Republican Party platform. And he has totally disregarded that 100%. This is just a classic example of him always trying to one-up the other person that is standing in opposition to him. You know, that's the thing. As an elected official, not everyone is going to agree with you, and you're not going to agree with everyone else, but you're still going to be held accountable. And one thing I love about Steve Biggers is that he's gone through this process himself, taken these classes to be able to do his own maintenance and everything. He wants to get that information out to the citizens so we can have less governmental regulation here in Hood County. In typical Judge Massengill, he he must have a form that he follows or that he's followed over the last 50 years he's been an attorney or whatever it may be. He goes after Mr. Biggers, what, 15, 20 minutes after Mr. Biggers talks, he brings him out, you know, from the audience. He's already sitting in the audience and he's got to come back and get that last dig and talk about him being almost out of order. So Mr. Biggers stands up, and he has to speak to, you know, what the judge just said. We know where this is. Just vote for it. One way or the other. Mr. Biggers, you always come close to getting so close out of order. Can't tell us when to vote. We'll vote at the proper time. He calls him almost out of order, for that. I think the one who's out of order here would be the judge. (laughs) And it's almost like the judge is wanting to put Mr. Biggers in some type of trap. Now, fortunately for Mr. Biggers, that fine is only a $25 fine. 
you know, uh, being in contempt of commissioner's court, the maximum fine is $25. And Mr. Biggers, if it ever comes to that, I will gladly pay it for you. And I think the one that's in contempt of this court all the time is Judge Massengill. Yeah, he's, so. the, he's the one that's f- constantly um, breaking his own rules of decorum. And he, he goes after, he uses it as a way to go after the citizens or anyone who comes up to speak that is in opposition to what he wants to do. Because this is his court, he's got to run it the way he wants. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to uh, send the changes to the order adopting rules of the county taxes for on site sewage facilities to the TCEQ for consideration. Right here, second. I'll second. Okay, motion made and second, made by Commissioner Andrews to uh, take appropriate action to submit to the TCEQ for consideration changes to the order adopting the rules of Hood County, Texas for on site storage facilities, second by Commissioner Eagle. Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All those opposed to the motion say aye. 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 Motion fails by vote of three to two. Do you find that strange that everybody said aye? All those in favor say aye. He should say all those opposed. Say nay, yeah. right? I thought yeah. that was weird too. So you had it, did it pass three to two with five eyes? How are you going to write that in a minute? You know, to me, that sounds like it passed unanimously with five eyes. You know, if I were wanting to get the judge on a technicality the way he tries to get other people, I would say, hey, judge, you, you voted to send that off to TCEQ. Right, because I is a positive confirmation of a vote, so they would be voting in favor of it. But he did say three to two and that it failed with five eyes. Yes. (laughs) So, you know, whoever gets to do the the county clerk, when she gets to do these minutes, you know, with Ron Massengale running these meetings, it's got to be just a pain to try to keep up with what he's doing or not doing. Well, you know, I don't think he can keep up in his own head with what he's doing or not doing. Like I said, he's kind of like our own little Joe Biden. He just, you know, gets angry a little more senile maybe than Joe, a little shorter, a little smaller in stature than Joe Biden, but, you know, along the same lines. But the intent, I think, was there for Judge Massengill and his two puppets that sit to the right and left of him that voted no on this. So, you know, it, it may have passed with five eyes, but um, we do know that Mr. Biggers and Matt Mills and Kevin and Dave Eagle got the judge flustered. A hundred percent, yeah. You know, and it must be very difficult for the judge right now to not be flustered. You know, during last court, Steve Biggers made a fine point that he, Steve Biggers, and his uh, election for county chair, which was countywide, just like Judge Massengill's election was countywide, received more votes than did Judge Massengill. And watching his face during that time, uh, you know, that clearly got up under his skin. You know, once again, we see Judge Ron Massengill being true to who he is. You can only hide who you really are for so long, and it's eventually going to come out. And time and time again, we see this with Judge Massengill when somebody comes up and isn't agreeing with him or doesn't want to go and toe his line, then his true colors always come out. You know, and it must be a very stressful place for uh, Ron Massengill to be in right now. That same 55% of Hood County that last time voted for him voted against him in his last election. You know, he was voted against 55-45 when you combine the other candidates uh, that he ran against. And with the looming runoff, I'm sure his stress level is through the roof and, you know... um, Unfortunately, that still doesn't excuse his poor behavior, his manipulation of data, his manipulation of people, and his manipulation of Hood County. Judge Massengill has to go, and he does have an opponent on the May 24th runoff ballot. And I'd like to say that I'm very disappointed in the progression of Judge Massengill. You know, we saw it during COVID, the way he acted towards people, and, and whether you were for all this stuff or COVID or against It doesn't take away the fact on how he treated the people. And here we are years later, several shows later, 
and the judge is acting even worse than he did before on the treatment of people. So you could like or dislike the way that the judge votes or the commissioner courts vote. That's fine. That's up to you. But you can't deny the way he treats the citizens of Hood County, and he treats them very poorly. And we've shown you his own words, his own actions of how he treats the community, and it's not good. And I can tell you that he talks about scenarios all the time, in this scenario, what happened in this scenario. Well, here's a scenario for you. If you get beat by Mark Shackelford in that scenario, Hood County citizens will be treated better than they are now. Shark Show out.